20 has escaped to the mountains, Krillin announced. Vegeta quickly added, he can't have gone far. If he flies, we can locate him more easily, that's why we should proceed on foot. Suddenly, Site pointed ahead, exclaiming, guys, look it's Kirin. Kirin greeted them, hello friends, what's happening? Site explained, Vegeta defeated one of the androids, but the other escaped to the mountains. They were called 19, and 20, 19 was an oddly dressed, chubby man in white, while 20 is an older man in a peculiar outfit, including a tall black hat covering his brain, which is stored in a glass dome. Kirin looked concerned. Those are not the androids from my time. In my time, they were 17 and 18. Krillin asked, what are those two like? Kirin described, 17 is a young man with long black hair and a cold blue gaze. He dresses in a black t-shirt and jeans, with an orange handkerchief around his neck. 18 looks like a beautiful young woman, with blonde hair over her shoulder, and a style similar to mine, except she wears a skirt and black lycra. Both have earrings. Kirin suggested perhaps traveling to our time altered the present. He then asked about Goku and his mother. Site informed him, when Goku was fighting 19, he began to suffer from heart issues and had to leave with Yamcha. Aisha also left with your present self and my mother. While everyone was discussing the best strategy to reach DR, Jero's laboratory before him, Vegeta was deep in thought. He looked at Kiran, surprised, and thought, K. Kiran. So that time traveler. It's my son Kiran. Of course, that's why he can transform into a super warrior. Site tried to get Vegeta's attention, Vegeta, Vegeta. Vegeta snapped, what do you want? Site proposed, we have to go to the mountains. If anyone finds Dr. Jero or the laboratory, they should increase their key. Everyone agreed and flew to the area where the android had escaped. Krillin was looking in all directions, hoping to find the hidden laboratory, when something, or rather someone, grabbed his ankle and threw him to the ground. Krillin got up and looked around, trying to find who had attacked him. We'll meet again? I see you want to die, said 20. Krillin stood up to the android, I'm not going to let you kill my friends. The android responded, you are very brave, but your courage won't be enough to defeat me. Krillin raised his key, and his companions immediately flew to where he and the android were. 20 punched Krillin in the chin. Krillin threw an energy ball at him, but the android absorbed it with his left hand. Vegeta arrived and knocked down the android. Krillin got up, but 20 escaped again. It can't be, he's escaped again, Vegeta muttered. 10 suggested, we should each go in one direction, comma, and just like before, if we have any news, we raise our key. The Z warriors arrived in some mountains near the capital of the north, the coldest area of the country. Krillin and Misty were shivering, while Ten Shin Han, Site, Vegeta, and Kirin seemed unaffected by the cold. Site suggested, we should divide into groups. I'll go with Misty, Krillin can go with Ten Shin Han, and Vegeta can go with Kiran. Mr. Piccolo, would you mind going alone? Piccolo responded, no, be careful, and flew to the mountains. Vegeta began to fly, trying to lose sight of Kiran. Kiran approached, surprised by Vegeta's attitude. Site asked Vegeta to slow down. I can't fly that fast. Vegeta grumbled, silence. Kiran commented, mother is right. You are a very proud prince and a stubborn one. Vegeta thought, damn it. He's just like his mother. Site and Misty found the laboratory. It was located in a steep area, between two huge rocks. The entrance was well hidden in a mountainous wall. Misty and Site increased their key to signal their colleagues that they had found Dr. Jero's base. Aisha was already there. Site Misty. Aisha greeted. What are you doing here? Site asked. Aisha explained, Bulma found information about the androids and since she is taking care of Goku, she asked me to come and inform you. Where is Kiran? Misty asked. Aisha replied, Bulma is taking care of him. She said that I would be more useful here. The other warriors arrived at the place where Site's key, Misty's key, and Aisha's key came from. What are you doing here? Vegeta asked. Aisha explained, Bulma asked me to inform you about the androids. Vegeta then asked, where is little Kiran? Bulma is taking care of him. Aisha informed the group. Krillin, curious, asked, what information has Bulma found? Aisha explained, she saw a photo of Dr. Jero in a scientific journal. He's a notorious scientist, known for his ruthlessness. He was part of the Red Tie army that Goku defeated. He created androids in hopes of defeating Goku, who thwarted his plans. Dr. Jero disappeared, and it was speculated that he had died, but no evidence was found. Dr. Jero is very similar to the 20 android, so we thought he transformed himself into an android. Suddenly, 
Dr. Jero appeared out of nowhere confirming, indeed, I am Dr. Jero. The group was taken aback. You're insane, we won't let you kill Goku, Site declared defiantly. Dr. Jero threw a key ball to distract the warriors while he unlocked his laboratory. He entered and closed the door behind him, preventing anyone from following. Inside, amidst various machines, were two trunks where Android 17 and 18 rested. Dr. Jero activated the androids. 17 will be first, he announced, pressing the activation button. The trunk opened slowly, and after a few seconds, the android stood before its creator, matching Kieran's description perfectly. Son, I'm so happy to see you again. Aren't you happy to see your father? Dr. Jero asked. 17 responded, Yes, but I miss my sister. Dr. Jero reassured him, I'll wake her up now and activated 18. 18 emerged from her trunk, pushed her hair back, smiled at 17, and then turned to Dr. Jero. I'm so happy to see you again, doctor, she said, smiling. 17, seizing an opportunity, snatched the controls from Dr. Jero. Why did you take the controls from me? Dr. Jero demanded. 17 retorted, I don't want you to disconnect me again as if I were a doll at your mercy, and destroyed both controls. Meanwhile, the Z warriors were trying to break down the door of the laboratory. Site and Vegeta joined forces and destroyed the door with a powerful burst of key. Damn, you've destroyed the door, Dr. Jero cursed. Krillin pointed at 17 and 18 and asked, Are those the androids? Kieran confirmed, Yes, these are the same androids from my time. 17 asked Dr. Jero, What about 16? Aren't you going to activate it? Dr. Jero warned, It's defective, don't touch it. Ignoring drive, Jero's order, 17 took control. He punched his creator in the head, separating it from the rest of the body, and threw it aside. He then stepped on it, looking at a terrified Krillin. Stupid androids, you're going to die, Vegeta shouted, throwing a massive wave of key that destroyed the laboratory. Aisha scolded him, stupid, those androids have escaped. Krillin suggested, we have to look for them. Kirin voiced his concern, those androids seem even more powerful than the ones in my time. Site however, remained optimistic, we must still look for them, he said, smiling, and flew next to Piccolo.